All right, all right. Uh, so here we are on Steam. There is this thing called the Arcade Classics Anniversary Collection uh, from Konami, and it has Haunted Castle on it. So let's pop back over to the stream title. We're going to switch it to PC. Uh, change Vampire Killer to Haunted Castle. Oh, Haunted Castle. Really need to play that again? You talking uh, Outer Wilds? Absolutely, yeah. No, Flex, I hated it. I, like, actually hated it. So, uh, not even two hours into the stream, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with it. We're, we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna play Vamp Haunted Castle instead. Uh, so let's... Let's take a look here. Here, I gotta, I gotta change the camera just, just a tad, something like that. Um, press enter. Can do. You had a nappy napperson, dude. This game probably has some good shit in it. Oh, it's got Twin B. You know, there's probably some good stuff in here. Life Force. I've got this on NES. There it is, Haunted Castle. What was that sound effect? Alright. Looks like... I'm, I'm happy to say it. It looks like we can use the retro scene still. Uh, whoa! The graphics are pretty... No, okay, never mind. We just got hit... Okay, anyway. Uh, I, I need to, um... I need to find the, like, the interface to know what the controls are for the game. Backspace. Escape. Mouse? Tab? Control? Space? Enter? E Escape? F12? Oh, that saved a screenshot. F1? F2? F3? F4? F5? F6? 7? 8? 9? 10? 11? Okay, well, F11 is the full screen button. Great start, Konami. Great start, Konami. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm the... Okay, I. Apparently, I is to insert a coin. Now I'm getting instructions on the bottom. And escape... Now escape is the menu? Okay. Uh... Controls. Oh, whoa. H, J, U. What? Oh, it's like simulating an arcade stick? Okay, but here's the deal, actually. Jump is gonna be... Wait, what? No, I wanna... Are you... Hang on. Are you... Are you... Are you shitting me? Are you telling me that I can change what H J U I P O L K or Hjwipolk does, but I can't change the actions themselves. As in, like the controls are going to be H J U I P O L K, and I can change what they do, but I can't change. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at. Like, I can take this and we can change it. Is this... Konami, why? Why... Why would this be how it is? Uh... Give me, a, give me a second here to... So... This one is not necessarily an emulator. This is... Arcade Classics Anniversary Collection on Steam. 
and so I'm, yeah, I'm guessing that means that arrow keys are movement. At least jump is its own button. All right, thank God for that. So H is going to be jump and attack is going to be K. Do I have to fucking Sith, fucking Seth Killy in this game? Uh, okay. H, J, U, I. But Y isn't a thing, and I is insert coin. This might be the actual worst control scheme I've ever seen. But all right, all right. Jump, attack, use item. All right, get the Super Nintendo controller out, and we're using Joy to Key again, boys. All right, so here then is the USB to Super Nintendo uh, adapter and a Super Nintendo controller. Let's do it. Whoa, time to open up Joy to Key once again. So, let's see. Up. Make this up. Down. Make that down. Left. Make that left. Right. Make that right. And then, well, actually now... Now we got to open the game back up and see what exactly we're binding what to what here. So, okay. So here's Haunted Castle. How come Escape does something now and it didn't the first time? Anyway, uh, all right, dis, uh, control. Okay, so controls. All right, so now. Window that up. So I'm going to want B to be jump. So B is going to be H. I'm going to want uh, Y to be attack. So that is going to be Y. Use item, I guess, will have be A. So that's going to be U. And then that should oh then there's also o and l for use item i guess i'll make those be like l and r so o and we might have to like go back in and fix this at some point okay oh wait there's also attack there's a second attack okay i guess i'll make that be x which is k and then insert coin will be a uh, keyboard function. That's fine. All right. Insert them coins, baby. <laughs> it may. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do I make this uh, thing down here go away now? F10? What the fuck? F10 is like changing resolutions. Okay. Um, can we... Okay, display settings. Blurring off. Display ratio original. Frame off. Control... Controls? Oh, there we go. 
Okay. All right. Wait, now you guys can't see the whole thing? What the fuck? Oh, I, I guess that's because we actually do want to be on this scene. But I need to take the game and, like, scooch it. All right, give give us a moment because I would also now like to bind uh, select to the escape key and start to the enter key. All right, all right, we we should be ready to go now, right? Okay, uh, I guess the first attack I bound wrong. Okay, hang on. So X and Y need to be flipped around? Y and K, so this is Y, this is K. Okay, uh, so now F11... Back to it. Oh, geez. Okay. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. We're in there, baby. It's Haunted Castle. For the arcade. Man, I... I like that, like, the, the sprite of the guy is, like, detailed... Something about the animation looks real goofy, though. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Okay, hang on. Oh. All right, okay, so, oh, continue, uh, yes is start button, which I think is this button, oh, oh, you can, oh, you can whip the shit coming at ya, wait, excuse me, why did I die to two hits, uh, I was jumping as part of it, like, here's me jumping, Um, okay. Oh, you know, I was told that this game was bad and I didn't really believe them. But now you're telling me that I have to dodge these things for 10 minutes and every one of them does half my health bar if I miss? Okay, so first impressions on this one is that this might be the first Steam game that I ever refund. <laughs> and not just because of the quality of the Castlevania game, but also because the, the control setup screen was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm starting to feel very justified in the decisions I've made thus far on which Castlevania games I wanted to skip. I was supposed to jump that, but this one I can whip. Okay, uh, hang on, we can do this, we can do this. It's only the middle two that you can whip, and then a fourth level one you duck, and a bottom one you jump. 
So that one you jump, this one you duck, that one you whip. What? Whip. Whip. Oh, I almost got past it. Okay, okay. I'm start I'm, I'm starting to figure it out just as they intended. Why is it like that? <laughs> About five bucks in. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not sure if you can jump off the pedestal, but I can only imagine that that would make things worse because then you would be closer to the things that are flying out that you have to react to. Why does that hit you? Also, no. This one, though, maybe. Yeah, these ones you can. Okay. Oh. Alright, a man climbed out of the tree trunk. You know, this reminds me less of Castlevania and more of, uh... Wait, why are we back here now? There's no way I just went through 50 credits. What the fuck? I was gonna say, this reminds me less of Castlevania and more of uh, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, or Ultimate Ghouls and Ghosts, or Super Ghouls and Ghosts, or whatever the fuck that game is called. Um... Hang on, what is this? Oh, hang on a second. You can put coins in. You can put coins in to increase your, your health. If I insert a bunch of coins and then press start. Hang on. No, it's not working anymore. It, it was take. This was a coin-op game. But now I'm confused because... Because I swear I... Well, the E, the number next to E was going up as I was hitting enter. A minute ago, but it's not now. Oh, hey, here's how far I got before. Fuck. Yeah, somehow I got a giant health boost. And I swear it was from putting money in. Let's try it again. Insert more coins. Press the start button. Nah. I am noticing that uh, I've also got a timer on top of everything else. Oh, boy. You know, when people say that, uh, uh, home, like, console games, like games like Castlevania 2... Um, or not Castlevania 2, but w when people say that, like, NES games were designed to be unfairly hard because, uh, they were used to making arcade games, uh, where they, where, you know, they were supposed to eat your quarters. Um, this right here is why, like, that's bullshit. <laughs> it, it, they knew back then what uh 
Hang on. What? How do I use my item? I thought it was A. I like that too, that the stage was behind the grass. Yeah, yeah, you can put in... You can press enter multiple times to get more health, I guess. Anyway, what was I just saying? Like... NES games were not like arcade games. This is what arcade games were like. <laughs> All right. So, let's just say Hypothetically, right. Okay, there's something very small I want to talk about. Which is that in this game, when you're using the... In, in other Castlevanias, once you get onto the stairs, uh, you can start... You, you get onto the stairs by holding up or down, but once you're on the stairs, you can use L or R... Or sorry, you can use left or right to continue walking up or down the stairs, you know? Um, in this one, you can't do that. Once you're on the stairs, you still have to use up or down. Okay, I'm sorry that I said Vampire Killer was the worst game I've ever played, because I think it's actually Haunted Castle. This, like, isn't even a real video game. This is like a fake video game that you'd see someone playing in a movie. Right, right, totally. The enemy placement in Castlevania is very, very good. An off-brand console, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when you get onto the stairs, I can't press left and right to move up the stairs now. You have to stick with up and down. It's a very small thing, but it's, it's weird compared to the rest of the series. What's up, Starman? It's... Yeah, it's... It's got the brutality of an arcade game while also being bad in how it looks and feels and controls. Uh, so it's just got everything going against it. Hey, I beat the first boss though. Look at that. All right, stage two. Ooh, okay, on stage two you go left. Alright, I, I I guess the skeletons come back at you in this one. Alright, so continue. So many versions of this game. So this game was originally an arcade game only in Japan. And then, from what I understand, it was later released for PS2. I think also only in Japan it was on PS2, I want to say. I don't remember exactly, though. Or something like that. Is something coming for me? Why did the screen stop scrolling? Oh, no, I'm supposed to go down. This stuff. Uh, I mean, I didn't really think it looked good, the water, but I didn't see anywhere else to go. Okay, we're putting maximum money in. We're putting maximum money in each time to get the most health. 
Dude, I can't remember that these fucking skeletons come up after you. Okay, so you gotta like duck now. Oh, never mind, the bat hit me. You know, yeah, I've never played Ninja Gaiden on NES, but I, it's got to be better than this. <laughs> the game looks, I, I think Ninja Gaiden on NES looks cool. Okay, so I guess I, we're just not supposed to go down. We're supposed to go this way. This game is doing too many lit... Why can't I go down these stairs? Okay, there we go. The... Oh! This looks... This does not look like ground! This looks like part of the fucking background! It is part of the background! Oh my god. Wow. Okay, I guess you can just stand right here also. Uh, oh. Alright. Yeah, from from my uh, experience, though, I don't think Zero Punctuation is... I don't think he likes difficult games very much in general, though, right? From I haven't watched his reviews in forever, but from what I remember, um, he, did, he didn't seem like the type who, who appreciated difficulty. Uh, okay, there we go. Not always true? Okay. Specifically, I remember him uh, not being a fan of Demon Souls because of the difficulty. Hmm. I want to get onto that. I, I, I would really like to get onto that. Oh, you know what I just realized, though? We got a checkpoint down here. It didn't put me all the way back. Jeez. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to go forward. Oh, jeez. Okay, here's what, here's what we're going to do. What if we tried riding this back up? The camera doesn't go back up. The camera doesn't go back up. It just pushes you down <laughs> under the platform. Oh my god. Alright, so now wait for the camera to scroll over. You gotta wiggle your character to move the camera over. And then, uh... And then, I guess I gotta be... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Forgive me. This whole time I've been thinking that the ceiling was going to, like, crush me downward. So I wasn't going to be able to jump like this because there was ceiling in the way. Because there's a part in Castlevania on NES that's like that. So I was just kind of thinking of that. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. Shit. Shit. Alright, so, uh, as I was starting to say before, what the fuck? No, 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 what? <laughs> Like, let's just say hypothetically, right, that uh, this sucked, and uh, and I wanted to stop playing it. Um, it's kind of unprecedented that I would start a game and then not just, like, start a game for the first time and then not play it the whole stream. For some reason, I thought there would be something down there, which was pretty stupid of me to think in retrospect. Um, but yeah, now that's uh, happened twice... Maybe, hypothetically. Hypothetically, it's happening twice. What the hell do I do today with the rest of the show? Hmm. 
Let me tell you, I, I do feel a lot better about having to catch up on the series. Um, you know. I was thinking there there's one more Castlevania game. Uh that I need to catch up on. Whoa, he dropped a stopwatch. Uh, there's w So enemies can hit you while they're frozen by the stopwatch in this version. So I have Castlevania Chronicles for PS1. Uh, which is also a, um... A thing to play, except here... Well, I'm on the PC, though. Today is a PC day, though. We've got the PC set up. I'm not equipped to switch over to the retro station. So I'm thinking, like... What... What is there to do to just mess around on PC for a while? Play some Binding of Isaac or something like that. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I guess now we've seen... We've seen Vampire Killer for MSX. We've seen Haunted Castle for Arcade. And, uh... In retrospect, it was correct for me to have skipped them. But hey, now we've had the experience, right? What would I have done without the experience? Okay, so this, we gotta like, right when these bats appear, boom, hit him with the, uh, hit him with the stopwatch. Oh, it didn't, it froze them before they were vulnerable? Oh, hey, we're able to stopwatch this guy. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. So now... It's not... Uh, that wasn't working how I was hoping it would. I like the big red sky. Oh, neat. A little bit, but it's kind of a good pain, you know? Like when my ribs kind of hurt when I stretch, it's 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 that pain that's like, it feels kind of good. Mm. You know that I've never beaten Wings of V on hard mode? I would like to do that at some point, but I don't think that I'm emotionally prepared to, like, start something like that right now. But I was thinking about that today. I've never beaten Wings of V on hard mode. All right, let's just jump over this guy and then freeze this guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I I do want to get past this like Oh my gosh. This red sky part right here. See what's after this. We've got a bat of doom coming behind us, though. Okay, there we go. And then when this guy comes high, we we freeze him. Okay. All right.
What the fuck? Oh, that's right. Skeletons, like, revenge you now. Oh, jeez. Uh, and now he's coming up and... Yeah. Ooh, boy. This one... This one didn't even last as long as, as Vampire Killer, but I hate it. I hate it. What the hell are we gonna do now? Pop in Kid Dr What the- Okay, well, yeah, what's Kid Dracula? What is it for? I've never even heard of it. But here, let's- Let's- Let's get a little bit of this going on. It was a Game Boy game, you say? Okay, let's let's take a look here. So if we go Castlevania, right? This is a uh, Legend of Mana. It's also kind of loud, isn't it? Okay. Or wait. Snoop. So, here's the deal. Uh, as far as games that we've beaten, beat Castlevania and Castlevania 2, The Adventure, Castlevania 3, Belmont's Revenge, Castlevania 4, and Rondo of Blood. That's what I've done so far. Now, as far as what else there is to, to do, I'm not going to bother with Dracula X for Super Nintendo. Uh, because, from what I've heard, it's just a worse Rondo of Blood. Uh, Vampire Killer, hated it. Done with it. Haunted Castle, hated it. Terrible. Castlevania Chronicles, though. So that's on PS1, and I will be playing this very soon. Uh, and then after that is Bloodlines. I will be playing that very soon. Then we got... You know, so, so that's all we have to worry about for now. Now, what the hell is this Kid Dracula? Kid Dracula. A platform game by Konami. It was released as part of the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. But hang on, there's also one from 93. So this one was for Famicom? Famicom in 1990, but then there was a Game Boy one in uh, 93. And this one actually came out in the US. Okay, okay. So Kid Dracula for Game Boy is a game. Let's let's take a look at something here. Hopefully uh, hopefully no information is on here that you guys don't need to see. Kid Dracula Game Boy. Whoa! Oh fuck. Hey, I could get the German uh, PAL import for half price. Oh no. It's not another one of these, is it? I just I just got Castlevania Legends. How about uh the Famicom one? Hey! That's more like it. We can get the Famicom one for like 30 bucks and play it. As long as there's not too much text, I think we'll be just fine. That might be kind of fun. So that, we can think about it. We can think about that. For now. 
Let's play some Binding of Isaac. Oh, excuse the, the mic there. The Steam version is like 20 bucks. Oh, and is that is that the Game Boy one? Here, let's take a look at that also. Are we still on, on the screen here? Uh, so you said it's... Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Oh, look at that. I mean, yeah, like... If the game's gonna be $200 otherwise... I mean, I <laughs> I did get Castlevania Legends for Game Boy, um, but okay, hang on. This does seem to have all the games, doesn't it? It's got Bloodlines, and there's Kid Dracula. So, so hang on, hang on. Let's let's inventory these real quick. Sorry about all the flashing. It wasn't my decision. Castlevania. Got it. Beat it. 2. Got it. Beat it. 3. Got it. Beat it. 4. Got it. Beat it. Adventure, <laughs> unfortunately, I've beaten this one, too. And Belmont's Revenge. Bloodlines, I, I have it, have not beaten it yet. So, yeah, so Kid Dracula's the only one here. That looked like Famicom, though. That didn't look like the, uh... That doesn't look like Game Boy to me. Um... So, yeah, good call there. Never released in English before. So yeah, that that's going to be the Famicom one. So yeah, I I I mean that that one I'm interested in picking up on Famicom. So doesn't look like that one's going to have anything that I don't already have. All right. Uh let's pop over here. Switch the stream over to Repentance. And I guess I guess we're just gonna do a, a run here. So there we go. There was the little uh, the first of the Castlevania catch-up streams. And then um, at some other time we will be doing a catch-up on uh, by playing Castlevania Chronicles for the PlayStation, which is a remake of the first one. 